Hey guys, Mr. Bowman here. Today's learning objective is in white, and we are learning to determine the equation from a given graph. So what that means is you are given a graph, and you are asked to work backwards to figure out the equation. So this is the opposite of the previous video, where we were given an equation and we were asked to come up with a graph. But there are very similar concepts or themes to be discussed. So our equation, y equals mx plus c, it's coming up again. It's the basis of linear algebra, or algebra to do with straight lines. And we just need to recap what all of these mean. So that plus c, that relates to the y-intercept of a given graph. And that m, that relates to the rise over run. And we can use those two bits of information by visually inspecting our graphs to determine the relationship or the equation of a given graph. So let's get into some examples. Let's change my pen color. I'm going to use the blue one to figure out this blue graph here, number one. So the first step is we need to figure out what is the y intercept. So our equation is going to be y equals the gradient times x plus or minus the y-intercept. So by looking at a graph, I'm dotting it now, we can see the straight line or graph number one intercepts the y-axis at negative two. So that means the plus c is going to be minus two. We now need to look at the gradient or the rise over the run. So from that start point, we need to move across the graph and find another point where it it's easy to figure out what that might be. And it's also easy to figure out that point up there. So what that does is it rises 1 and it runs 2. So that means our rise over run, or our gradient, is equal to 1 divided by 2. So the number in front of the x would be positive one half. So we've used the rise over the run and the y-intercept to figure out the equation for graph number one. Let's change pen color, let's get to green, let's have a look at I know, this black line at the top, so that's number two which we've labeled. So similar process, we need to go y equals the gradient times x and plus or minus the y-intercept. So let's have a look at our graph. Let's dot our y-intercept, and we can see that is at point three. So that means RC is gonna be plus three. We now want to look at the rise over run part of it. So let's find another point that's really nice and obvious to see. So that point there, we can see it nicely. It is running negative one because it's sorry it's rising negative one because it's going down and it's running one so let's think rise over run it is rising negative one it is running positive one that means our gradient is negative one so we'll put negative one there or another way to think of this equation negative one times x would be negative x so the equation for the second line would be y equals negative x plus 3. Let's change pen colors again. Let's use the red one. So graph number 3, let's have a look at the purple line. Again, we need to go through our similar process. y equals the gradient times x plus or minus the c. So our gradient, or sorry, our y-intercept, is actually at zero. So what that means is we're going to technically be doing plus zero. And what that also means is we can ignore that. So that means our graph doesn't have a plus one or a minus one or a minus two or a plus four. It's just zero, meaning it goes through the origin or point zero zero of our graph. We now need to look at the x, the number in front of the x, the rise over run side of things. So let's have another look. So I can see it clearly goes through that point over here by the positive 4 for the x value. 
So what that means is it rises one and it runs four. So let's say rise over run for that next time working. It, we said it rises one and it runs four. So that means that number in front of the X is actually one quarter. Back to blue. So let's have a look at our red line. So that there is going to be equation number four. So let's have a think again. Where is the y-intercept? So we can see that's plus one. So I'll write plus one down the end. Let's have a look at the rise over run. We need to find another point that's really nice. So that point there looks really good. I can see it intercepts four and one really well. So how much does that go up? So it rises one, two, three. So it rises three and it runs one. So let's think of rise over run. That is three over one, which is also three. So that means y is going to be equal to three x plus one. So that three comes from the rise over run and that plus one comes from the y intercept. And our final graph, graph number five, which is our green line, put our five down the bottom. So let's do the same thing. Let's have a look at the y-intercept. So follow the line back. So that intercepts at negative one. So I'm going to write a minus one. Let's check out the rise over run. We need to find a nice point. So I'm following the graph down to this point where I can see it runs through some lines clearly. It goes down 2, which means negative 2, and it runs 1, which is positive 1. So if you think of our rise over run formula, it goes, it rises negative 2, and it runs 1, which becomes negative 2. So that means that equation is y is equal to negative 2x minus 1. The negative 1 being the y-intercept, and the negative 2 being the gradient or the rise over run. Hopefully you found today's video. Just to recap, we were learning to determine the equation from a given graph. That means we were given a graph and we were asked to work backwards to find an equation. We worked backwards using the y-intercept of the graph and we also worked backwards to determine the rise over run or the gradient of a given graph. Hopefully you found this video useful and hopefully you can now determine the equation from a given graph. See you guys in the next video.